Okay, so I've had a few requests for an update on how the Cochins are doing that I got this spring. It's been windy and cold and I've been fighting a cold <coughs> off and on, so I haven't had a chance to do it, but I'm just going to do it, I guess. I will show you the ones that we kept. Um, so I did end up with nine roosters. My original video where I was sexing them and asking what you guys thought, I was 100% correct nine roosters. I decided to keep two of them and the rest actually I was able to find breeding homes for. <coughs> was kind of surprised. Really thought I was going to be eating <laughs> some roosters but they all had homes so that is pretty amazing and let's go let's go check them out. I will show you the two boys that I decided to keep <coughs> and the girls. They don't all have names yet. Um, Maybe you guys can help me come up with some more names and hopefully I don't just cough my way through this whole video <laughs> All right, so here are the five girls that I ended up with three white and two Blue They're I mean they're gray, but they're called a blue cochin um, <coughs> So three of them are named so far this one that is the whitest of the white ones. Her name is Snow White. <laughs> Big surprise there. Um, this one right here, her name is Molly. Her name was actually chosen because I have a rooster with a particular book character name and that is that character's girlfriend. Um, and she was attacked by a hawk. And he fought the hawk off and saved her. All that happened was she was missing a few feathers. And he had already had his name. So then I was like, well, I guess I know what your name is now. So yes, this little one back here is Molly. This one right here is Delilah. Hi, sweetie. She's actually named in honor of an Instagram friend's coaching and chicken. That's name was Lila that passed away recently watching all of her pictures and videos of Lila is actually what made me get Cochins because she was just so adorable. So after she lost Lila, I asked if I could name one of my sweet girls in honor of her. And she helped me pick out which one. So there we have Miss Delila. Um, and those are, those are the three names. So then I have this white one with the gray spot on her neck right there that needs a name and this blue one still needs a name. Here come the boys. This guy right here is Mr. Darcy. Yes, named after Mr. Darcy in Pride and Prejudice. So he, I don't know if I need to name the other two hens that don't have names yet, maybe names from Pride and Prejudice, we'll see. And then this handsome devil is Fitz. Fitz Chivalry. <laughs> Most of you will probably have no idea what that's from. That is from um, my favorite book series, The Realm of the Elderlings by Robin Hobb. The main character's name is Fitz Chivalry. So, of course, one of my roosters was going to be named Fitz. And funny enough, Fitz was the one that started crowing first. So, but they're both very, very good boys. They did great when the hawk attack. I was outside in the garden and I just heard screaming from like a chicken and I knew it wasn't them fighting. So I came running just in time to see the hawk take off and Fitz had Molly and he had taken her and was hiding her. And Darcy had gathered everyone else and had ran around the side of the barn and had them underneath the horse trailer. So they did a really, really good job. I'm very happy with them. We got some eggies in here today. I haven't, you know, I had one of the girls lay an egg when they were like three months old, which was really early. <laughs> and then I, I haven't really seen any that I would expect to be from them, you know, a smaller one since. But I am getting quite a few eggs. <laughs> you know, some days I'll get 17 eggs and I only have 18 older girls. And a lot of the older girls are 
old enough that they're not even laying every day. So I'm kind of thinking some of these might be laying, especially I think maybe Delilah. The three white ones don't look quite ready yet, um, but Delilah and then maybe this one. So it'll be curious to see, but yeah, they pretty much hang out, especially after the hawk attack. They spend most of their time in the barn during the day. And the roosters have not <laughs> have not tamed the older girls yet. They're still kind of afraid of them. <laughs> but that's okay. They'll get it figured out. Hi, babies. Come on. Come on. They're just waiting. I open the barn and I'm gonna spend pretty much most of the day in there. You guys wanna come in? Come on. You coming in too, Penelope? They really like the barn, especially now that it's getting Well thank you, Darcy. <laughs> especially now that it's getting cold and windy, it's a good spot for them to hang out. So here's the boys. This is how they normally are. They will pick a spot and kind of guard from wherever the girls are. But I'm really, really happy with them. And as far as I know, everyone that got the other roosters from us are really happy with them as well. Ooh, it's windy today. They're supposed to be a quieter and so far I definitely say that's true I had a rooster in the past that was like constantly talking and these two aren't bad we'll see if that changes as they get older they're also supposed to be you know non-aggressive which again so far I would say that's true but they are still pretty young I think they're hi Penelope I can't do a chicken video without Penelope <laughs> They're still pretty young, so you know, in the next six months or so, we'll see if their attitude changes at all. And um, <laughs> the coaching breed in general is supposed to be more docile. They're supposed to like hanging out <laughs> and just relaxing. Yes, Penelope, we know. More than running around. But they're supposed to like relaxing more than, you know, running around and, um, <laughs> and foraging which I would say so far is true they do really kind of pick an area and just hang out in it all day when the weather's bad it's in the barn if the weather's nice it is <laughs> right outside the barn hi P hi what are you doing you're the craziest chicken Oh, and it, the hawk has not come back after its little fight with Fitz. We have a breeding pair in the area, and they have babies that are, you know, so we definitely see them fly around, but they have not come back to try and fight or eat anybody again after the last nonsense. So... I love those boys. They're so cute. Good boy, Darcy. Fitz, are you gonna crow for us? Yes, Penelope, we know. Fitz just, <laughs> Fitz just wants to nap in the sunshine. He's so cute. And all the girls are pretty much over here. We just got new hay bales. So, the exciting spot in the barn right now is to hang out on the hay. Right? <coughs> yes, Darcy. <coughs> oh, see. <laughs> that tiny little Easter egg was mean to you. Poor Darcy. That was Blackbeard. But I was like, heck no, get away from me, rooster. <laughs> Fitz, are you so handsome? Are you 
so handsome. My dogs are going nuts because they don't like the wind, so I'm sorry if you're hearing non-stop barking in the background. <laughs> See, they're definitely... <laughs> they're a little nervous of the older girls still, which is hilarious because they're bigger than the older girls. They just haven't realized it yet. But that's the updates for the Cochins. They're adorable and we love them. <laughs>